Welcome back to another 1A8.5 follow-up video. There are a lot of questions. I'm gonna try to answer some of them. I hope I'm not missing too many of them, but some people wanna check the quick panel lock because many users, including this guy here, is facing the same issue in landscape mode, which is something I'm going to check. And there has been also other questions. People asking what happens when you turn on the dark mode? Will the icon colors change and stuff like that? And of course, probably one of the biggest question is, is there any app lock? Now guys, to start with the quick panel, all right, this is the quick panel and the normal mode. So I'm using this right now and the um, vertical mode, as you can see, quick panel like this, it's okay. I don't think that there are any locks whatsoever, but now it seems that when you turn your phone like this, it's not so good. And this is what you're gonna check right now. And I can confirm it's not ideal. At least the first time you're doing this, it seems that there is always like this tiny lock. When you go back to the normal vertical mode, uh, it's gonna be really flawless. Most of the time you're doing this, uh, but the moment you turn to the horizontal mode, the first time you wanna do this, all right, meh, maybe now it was a bit better. I'm just showing you what I really get with this. Now there are also some newer builds, but sadly I, down, I have the option to install them and we all have to wait for the first official beta where I really hope that a lot of these things are gonna be corrected. Now, questions about the app log, guys. Let me tell you, this is the version for EUX or for Europe. So in this version, there is nothing like app log. There are some leaks from China firmware that apparently are using Smart Manager and there are a lot of uh, things around app log. But here in this version, there is, guys, nothing even remotely reminding you on something that might be even close to uplock when i go inside device care yes i'm gonna get this new fancy design and yes there is something here called app protection and when you click it it's just gonna be the standard scan for uh, malware and other suspicious activity you can turn this on by the way right but this is not really uplock guys so indeed there is no uplock the only app protection setting here is scanning your apps daily or even scan apks when you try to install them but this is no app lock else this is the new device care section and when you click install storage you can see that this is really revamped now uh, you can explore a lot of other things besides videos audio files compressed files stuff like that there's going to be some suggestions on big files uh, that you can delete and get more storage and even when you click more you have the option also to archive apps clear space by uninstalling or archiving apps that you haven't used in the past 30 days and you can apparently click here and try to just filter them by size so there are some nice new things and even when you click inside a trash you can see my files gallery or reminder stuff like that but there is no app lock here so the only available thing is the app protection now what about the dark mode i'm gonna show you guys when you click here you'll engage with the dark mode now what about the dark mode settings when you go inside a display there's gonna be dark mode settings you can turn it on a scale sunset to sunrise or a custom scale but there are no more things around this and if you probably go to advanced features and in the labs there is this dark mode apps where you can force dark mode on youtube but all of these things existed there before okay so you can see right now you know my youtube is running with a dark mode also what i've noticed when i just switch the dark mode the now bar widgets changes all right so here see black and white and some of the other widgets will get a dark mode automatically so i'm gonna go back to the light mode you can see this is my battery widget uh, it's very white when I go in dark mode it's gonna get like this and some people are saying inside the comments that the animations here specifically in the rainy areas are a bit better I really hope so and honestly I never suspected that there will be like animation issues here inside the weather but sadly none of the icons are actually changing their outlook yes um, the whole background on the folder is going to change but this was there before when I go back to the normal light mode you can see this becomes bit more visible and when I go back to the dark mode we're gonna get like this some people wanted me to show what happens when you use dark mode on a dialer and this is pretty much what you're gonna get I don't think that this is gonna change so let me just go back to the uh, regular mode maybe the buttons all right let's pay attention I'm gonna switch now the dark mode yeah okay yes the buttons here all the menu buttons are changing and then we have all this uh, new fancy AI icon that allows you to do text call and also live translate from several languages. You can see this is how it works. <laughs> all right, now I have German and English, which is another situation. I uh, can stop translating. You can click here again. You can go uh, 
initiate also like a text call. So yes, some of the elements definitely change in dark mode. What about more of the Samsung stock apps? Let's try to see, I'm gonna open my files, all right? So this is now the dark mode inside my files. Looks cool, by the way, some of the elements kind of gray and they still pop up. You can click here, manage storage. This is, by the way, the dark mode on the storage app and it really looks nice you know, with this big menu items here with all the suggestions and with all the colors. I think that's cool. What about the other things? So let's try to open, for example, Samsung Store. All right, we have also dark mode in Samsung Store. Again, those are not things that we did not see before. This is the clock. All right, and let me just start something. It's going to pop up here. All right, we have it here. Okay, and yeah, you can see dark mode definitely also impacts uh, the now uh, bar because now uh, it's going to be, I guess, white. And when you go inside the dark mode, it's going to be them like that. What about calendar, guys? Again, dark mode applies to the calendar. What about the calculator? Well, again, we have dark mode here. Some of the things I was able to uh, discover as I've tried to play some games and apparently now Game Booster will have a new menu. And I've seen also online, there is like a tons of features coming to Game Booster. I don't have them right now. A lot of AI things, stuff like that, they, they are going to appear here. But right now, you know, they revamp the whole menu. They have performance, balance and battery save, I guess. It's pretty much the same functionality, but with this nice and new fancy menu, we have the game mode, all right? You can go and mode in routines. A lot of the things are integrated. So you can see <laughs> there is like a game routine um, to allow you to minimize the distractions. So yeah, it's Samsung, right? They really are doing a lot of these needy, greedy details and things. But the main thing is that, yeah, right now, we're still waiting to get more functionality. We're still waiting to get some of these new things implemented and really working because, uh, for example, no nudges doesn't really work for me. And also this prioritized notification, this is not really working for me yet. Also, uh, thanks to one of you guys, I discovered if I try to play some music, it's gonna be like this and I can juggle them. I somehow have a feeling that the One UI 7, the moment you click on the now bar, it's gonna like uncollapse both of the items, but now they're there and you can juggle them and you can see this looks kind of nice. Also, some of you asked me, what about this annoying media player on the lock screen. Well, yes, we are pretty much stuck to, to this. So here, uh, if you expand it, you're gonna get more control. You're able to switch, you know, between the songs and stuff like this. And then there was also some other questions. Uh, how big can the clock get on the lock screen? Uh, and I can show you guys. So this is now uh, the maximum that I can do. This is the adaptive clock. But when you click here, uh, you know, you can just change it to something else. And honestly, yeah, not so big, right? Like there is not the option um, like in HyperOS Xiaomi to have something that is really, really like big like this. Or if you go inside, you know, the settings and just choose a different style. Yeah, there might be some things that are bigger. So with clock face, maybe we can do and get something better or bigger. So let's try to set this, by the way. I'm just going to discard this and I'm gonna try to apply this. So, all right, like, yeah, this is probably as big as you can go. And for the adaptive clock, this is the biggest that you can do. Some of you said that there are also new animations when you try to invoke the icons here. So this is the dialer and this is the camera. I'm gonna try to touch them. And by the way, you can also edit those. So how does it work, guys? You just click here to edit your lock screen. And then from here, you're able to select uh, other things. So let's say I wanna get like do not disturb mode. I can do this. Apparently when you switch on the do not disturb mode, let me show you, this is really interesting. I'm gonna kill this thing and I'm gonna switch to do not disturb mode, which eventually is going to also hopefully give me what a now bar thing doesn't work right now. Okay, it's here. So you can switch it from here and from here all right yep okay yeah it worked yeah you see turn on disturb mode i can do this like that and then it's gonna use this uh now bar thing to get it on let me know guys what you think down below the comments honestly it's not looking uh, bad uh, it's just the nitty gritty details and i think that it's gonna require some more polishing from samsung but it's just in the early stages there are plenty of new things maybe again not groundbreaking even like the digital well-being is kind of redesigned they're using now this new design element almost everywhere and even when you go inside the gallery you're gonna have this new option here that is kind of cool uh, this new menu is just like this Sadly, some of the things are missing from here. 
and apparently there's some new things inside the camera specifically when you go to the pro mode and you click pro and you're able to just remove all the layouts it is building up so i really hope that when they release it as a beta we do one two three betas and then hopefully the final product is going to be okay remember also the new identity theft protection all of these things are still here they are i guess are making also a lot of um, this 108.5 update there is this theft detection lock identity check offline device lock a lot of these things really coming from google themselves and from android but if i have to circle back yes the quick panel in the normal vertical mode is well it's okay the moment you rotate your screen and you want to do it the first time i guess it's not that bad but okay guys you will be the judge of it and let me know what you think down below in the comments stay safe vst over and bye